Hey guys, it's Rotex1 and only my name is AJ. Welcome back to the set of Let's Build a Medieval City. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel with this series, guys. It's crazy. We're actually, like, checking everything off the list slowly. And uh, there's not too much crazy big stuff left, unfortunately. I don't really want to say that because it might make you guys tune out. Uh, but uh, there's a little bit of tidying up to do, which we're going to be doing today, like little areas of just grass. So we're just going to sort of tree it up. That's something that we're missing from inside the city is a little bit of um, of trees. I mean, we've got greenery and stuff from the plants and the and the fields, but actual trees we're missing from in the centre. It looks a little bit flat, so having a few strategical trees placed should lift it up a little bit. Uh, we've got like this bottom part to tidy up as well underneath this wall, so it doesn't look like it's all floating there. I don't think we'll be doing that today, though. Um, I've got over this side at the uh, sort of um, uh, pirate area. I want to completely cover that whole island in, in trees and really greenify that up, Hi uh, like hide it almost. Uh, but we'll start off over here. It's going to be a really easy job because all I'm going to do is put down saplings and just let them grow. Okay, so down here, let's turn these shaders off. I want like a little strip of trees that just runs down the side here. So I'm going to run some saplings with a pretty ish even clicks between them i don't know what will grow and what won't i don't know if that will grow eventually it might it might not who cares um and once they have grown even by maybe the end of the episode we can then bone meal up the inside of this and put a fence and stuff around but i'm not going to do that until they've grown i could grow them myself with bone meal but there's no real need to and the same around here i'm going to put some trees oops i missed the click sort of around this area like that so they sort of arch themselves around and the same here we'll put a little fence down and stuff but i'm not going to do anything that's going to inhibit the trees from growing any more than all there already is uh, down here i think i'm going to have to force grow a couple of trees down here we'll grab some bone meal i don't think that even oak trees would never grow behind here naturally yeah perfect cool i like it we still walk along the side here. It's not sort of in the way. Plenty of room to get past. Very, very nice. And uh, we'll sort of lift that up. I'm going to just bone meal all the way down the back here so it doesn't look like an empty area. And then here, I can then plant a couple of trees. Perfect. 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 You can see. Bone meal just really lifts the ground, gives you all those layers. Okay. See, see how the trees make a huge difference, even just there. It's crazy. Okay, so over here now, we've already got some trees that were sort of naturally on here. Um, but I want to really tree up this area and hide it almost. Uh, it's meant to be sort of a part of the city that the city wants to forget. They don't want to know that this sort of slummy fire pit area with all this mud and stuff is nearby you know old style farm pigs and uh, all yucky and stuff um so we're gonna hide it up with trees you're gonna be able to see it really well if you approach from that side which i think is really cool um but from like the city side from where everybody lives they can't see it and it's sort of that out of sight out of was it, out of sight out of mind sort of attitude to it I should have really done this in some sort of order where I know where I've placed saplings and where I haven't. Now, some of these are actually going to be a little bit tricky. Hey, chicken. Um, to uh, grow because they're on such a slant of the building. Uh, they're going to really struggle. And I'm sticking with only oak because I think it would look, for once, actually better with just the one tree type. As opposed to having, like, uh, what we do in the main city world when we've got a treed up area. We'll do spruce and birch and oak. Uh, to get a sort of mix of the three leaves. I think in this world, it's just nicer to have these sort of decoration-y style trees as all being oak. I don't know. My, my choice is my world. I get to do what I want. <laughs> I have some at the top there. Just trying to see spots that aren't sapling covered. Yeah, like all down this side, look. Got all of these on here. I've been having trouble with my voice this morning. It just like keeps going suddenly and then it'll come back again. I don't need to cough or anything. It just literally just just goes away. Been talking too much recently. <laughs> I need to just shut up. 
for the rest of this video, it'll be silent. Don't want any trees on this part. I sort of like this sort of rocky, grassy area. All right, I'll put a couple on. I'll put a couple on like that. Okay. So this sort of mound is going to all be treed up. That's going to look absolutely stunning afterwards. And uh, I think I want to tree up this side of the uh, mountain and, and behind there just a little bit. But this top part... Oh, actually, I need to extend out a little bit of land first here because I want this wall, this sort of lower wall, to be able to continue around here. Um, so if we just grab a tool... Uh, brush, a sphere, grass, two. So I'm just sort of going to bring out a little bit of land here. Just enough that we can get a wall flush down here. So I really don't need all that much. I might need to bring it out a little bit further though for when we smooth it. So let's sort of bring it out like this. And then we'll grab another one. Brush. Smooth. Smoother? Three? No, apparently not. Smooth three. So sort of meld that back in. That's good ish. That's good. And then I think from here I can I can do what I need. So we'll go from there to there. Replace air with grass. I see something like that. Get rid of these holes. <laughs> went around the hole. Okay. Something like that. Try and naturalize that a little bit. Okay, so now I can get I can get a wall. Even if I need to sort of creep into that a little bit. Uh, I can get this wall sort of going around there now. Perfect. Okay. So we can put the trees on this part now. Let's sort of run along the top here. And we'll work our way down. Um, Yeah, this is all going to be tree here as well that it's a little bit a lot of trees around there but they won't grow if they can't look at that one already grew it's e eager tree okay i really like as well that the uh, city has like a huge weakness for attack uh not that it you know maybe it should be fixed but i i sort of like the idea of it not being perfect and that's on the wood chopper's hut side, there is no wall. And um, there's like tree cover and everything. You can get like a, a little, I was looking at it. Hey, I get so in depth of all these things when I'm off camera. Like around here, you could get like an enemy approaching from this way. And come up into the mountains, into the tree cover. And suddenly they've got a, like a pretty good vantage point on the city here. And they've got direct access route down from the woodcutter's lodge into the city. They can't approach from the front. They've got a wall. They can't approach from that side. They've got a wall. They can't really approach from the front. They've got the whole dock there. And uh, obviously the, the city castle uh, the, is, is, is looking over all of the ocean area there. Uh, but from this side, it's like a weak point. And uh, that, I think that's like a, quite a cool thing to have. Um, in my mind, at least, is for it not to be completely perfect. Okay, so there's some trees on this side, and then I just want to have trees just uh, on this side here. Now, a lot of these are not going to grow, but I'll have to go around at some point and just sort of force bone meal them. Yeah, these ones will never grow. I don't think like anything here would, would grow with bone meal even. But even if it doesn't, and we just have the sapling sitting there, It'll just be something sort of sitting on the side of the mountain. Something to stand up and break break up. So here's some um, some spruce ones there that's never grown. Okay, that should that should be good, and that will fill out really nicely. Okay, let's do this wall. If we stay around this area, um, the trees shouldn't take too long to grow. And I think the best way to do this is actually going to be to place down. 
the uh, footing sphere, like like the part that we walk on. We'll come out a little bit further. See, that's probably going to be about right. Yeah, that's going to be like perfect. So we're going to bring this all the way down, and basically either get one block away or touch that building that my back's going to hit at, at some point. Um, that way down here. I need to remember how that wall goes. I have no idea what like the pattern or design is on that wall. I know we kept it simple because I knew I'd be sort of repeating it. If you go too complicated, especially when you have to come back to it like we are now, um, it's just be impossible otherwise. I think um, I'm going to bring it all the way to there and then we'll have stove sort of wrapping around that so you won't be able to sort of sneak through. So what have we got then on this side? It is awesome. It's just a mix of stone brick, um, mossy stone brick, and uh, and cracked stone brick for the uh, the walls. Excellent. That's like perfect for us. And if I go from there to there, uh, ninety-eight, one ninety-two. Set 98, 98, 1, and uh, 98, 2. Amazing. Uh, there. Ah, I'm in it. I can't get out. I'm stuck. Perfect. And, oh no, it's gone too thick. Huh? Undo. That's why I can get out of it. So I've never got stuck in a one block wide wall when doing this. I must have clicked that one. I need to click that one. Amazing. Same as on this side. We'll go from there. To there. And from there. To there. Nope. To there. Excellent. Okay, maybe a little bit heavy on the mossy cobble, but eh, that's okay. So then how did we do this? We then just do every other block like this. I know I've got like a little um, line to do down the edge of the wall as well. I haven't forgotten about that. Is it making you feel sick yet? I bet it's making so many of you feel sick. Make me feel sick. There's no other way to do it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll leave that like that. And then on this, uh, I think I'm just going to put those like that. Uh, on this side, we obviously want them to match up. So I'm actually going to start here and, uh, and work my way backwards with it. And uh, we'll worry about the corner uh, when we get there. Because the corner obviously isn't going to line up perfectly. So we're going to have to do th this sort of what looks best situation. like this I come down here doesn't look like we're actually gonna have too much problem yeah see then I end up with this sort of do I do that I think I do it just sort of fixes it and solves it like that all right excellent uh, let's just get some trees going down here fill up that little part we'll just grow them to get them out of the way there's only three of them Floating egg, floating egg. Eh, eh. <laughs> okay, uh, and then we want this pattern. So what do we do here? Okay, so it's just a straight line that goes all the way around. Let's do that first. I don't know if I'm going to need to do this on the inside. I know we've just placed trees there, which just makes it awkward to place anyway. But I don't know if it's really necessary to. Like down this part is a yes, like for sure. But it's on like the top half. This one here. So obviously we need to run it there. But then do I run it like between the trees? I think I just run it between the trees. Like that. Okay. 
and then every three oops, every three blocks it then drops down every three so you go one two three that one that one now super easy mm -hmm. I say super easy and then go silent trying to concentrate <laughs> that one that one it's a really it's a really nice design actually it's really easy for us to um to replicate okay so then i need this one there oh, i can't do a little <clears throat> i can't do a little double there so we'll just have to run it backwards now whoops that one so I've, I've made sure that these little ups and downs are in line with the other side just for like my own benefit uh and i don't need to worry about under there you're never gonna be able to see them okay and then we finally grab upside down stairs to go in these little corners a tree's growing right there whoops and that one just a couple on this side and i think we're good so now from the inside here we actually have a wall and we come through out into the market area here that's a that's a cool little um like alleyway that is really nice vision when you come out of it and on the outside if we back up we have the wall and it sort of extends around there now very very nice very nice okay it's all starting to tree up already look 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 really cool in fact because of like the little biome shifts here you actually get a sh uh, uh, different shades of green even into the same tree look like here there's like different shades of green in the same tree you can't really see it up close but when you back off you can see it more that's cool as it goes i suppose river to plains or river to mountain and stuff Hmm. really cool those trees have so many different colors in them all right i like that i'm just gonna let this sort of run for a little bit and let the trees sort of grow up and mature i'm going to check out these ones over here as well it looks like these ones have already grown basically and i might sort of force bone meal them um to get them moving along and i should be back okay it hasn't really been that long but these ones are all done and those ones are all done i had to take some saplings away from there they just wouldn't grow i forced and forced and forced and they were just never going to get anywhere so uh We'll have to think of something else. I think I'll do like a little hedgerow or something there instead. Okay, so I'm going to put a fence that goes down there. I'm going to bring a fence wrapping around here as well. I want a fence and not a cobblestone wall because we've got a lot of cobblestone nearby, especially in the floor and these walls. So I think the wood is just going to stand out that little bit more. And then in the middle here, we're going to bone meal it. Oh, I just want to get that little edge just a little bit in there. Fill this out. I don't want to look I don't want it to be overgrown feeling, so what we're gonna do now is instead of just leaving it like this, we're actually gonna put some really nice flowers in here. So we're gonna go around with some tulips. Maybe some of the blue ones. And I want definitely some rose bushes in there. And I want them oops, and I want them really visible. So I'm gonna put the rose bushes down first so I can actually put those some in places that I can see. <laughs> Pillow right of the way, I had to go all the way up something like this and then in the middle here you can just place down i don't want to go too crazy oh, i don't want to i want it to look pretty i'm stuck and a few down here first we've already got some yellow flowers in here but i have some different colored tulips and stuff i like the sort of red colors that we've got going on the orange uh the red and the rose bushes and stuff and i think the blue just sort of sets it off a little bit more that's cool it just tidies up that area sort of finishes off the circle that we've got sort of going around in this middle here it keeps with that sort of design and now over here i did have like three saplings falling down there but they just aren't ever going to grow but i want hedge there i think instead I'm going to run a hedge down here. I'm going to have it right up to the wall. I think I'm even going to sort of bring it out in those little spots in the path as well. Like this. I'm just going to keep it one tall for now. And I'm going to figure out how high I want some of them to go. 
I don't think I need to be doing that right now, do I? I'm gonna do something like this. Try to keep it looking a little bit, um, a little bit natural in a way. I think I'll, I think I'll finish it off here, because those trees then go too small, really, or that one at least. So I think I'll finish it off there, and I can then fence that part. So we just random speckle a second layer on here, and we'll just do sort of one, one random rundown of it. Oops. That's beautiful. That's the this is the entrance that we've got like actually into the city through the main entrance. This is what we come across first. Really nice trees, really nice hedgerows, perfect looking wall. Um the uh, blacksmith on the right as you come in. Really cool. Really cool. This is horrible. Actually, now I think about it. I need something better there. Uh an actual wall I think we're going to have to go with. Yeah, it just looked, that looked really weird. Uh, like, from above, it's been looking fine for 80-odd episodes or so. But um, coming into the city like that, that just looked wrong. It just didn't look right at all. Uh, wool. It just looked like a, a sort of out-of-nowhere fence. Yeah, see, that looks so much more like enclosed. It looks part of something then. Okay, cool. Uh, fence missing from this side now. Okay. I'll run it underneath here. I don't know if this make all that much of a difference, but like that. If I can squeeze some bone meal in some places, that'd be amazing. See, all this is dead man's land i can't use it for anything i'm never going to be able to build anything on here so we'll just sort of fill it up but again we'll make it look nice i think we'll go with some pink ones this time so we'll go with these ones we'll go with them ones we'll go with these ones and then i think i'll just throw in a couple of white ones like how we had that blue one in the other area to sort of offset the colors this one we're going with a white still a complementary color there have some tall lilacs i'm not going to bother with the peonies though and then we'll have little white ones in here just to this is a really beautiful looking garden yeah cool perfect looks almost it almost looks like a little back garden to a house it's not but it sort of gives that impression it's like it's like pretty enough to be okay i like that now uh we need to have some trees in the area so i think i'm actually going to put like a tree down here like in this inner city trees just sort of in spots like that like probably one here oh, i got rid of the bone meal of course i did the only block i need i always get rid of <laughs> we'll have that there i was just asking for it to be go on go on be a big tree I'll take a big tree here. You're not going to grow, are you? Nope. Okay. I'm not going to argue. Would you grow there? Oops. Would you grow there? Yeah, I'm clicking as fast as I can. Nope. Okay, it's going to go there. There you go. It's a little poxy tree, but it'll do. You see how... Look how cool that is. Just having like three trees down there. be really nice to have one Yeah, here. Look at that. Just nice, nice sort of trees in the city here. They're not, they're not going, they're not too many of them. It doesn't look like a, a tree line or anything, but it just lifts up that ground there. It doesn't look quite as flat anymore. Okay, really nice. Love that. Love this. The trees over here should have pretty much grown as well now. Looks like I need to put some, um, saplings here this is where we didn't know where the wall was going wasn't it so i'll put some there they'll grow up this is actually done a lot better than i thought there's still a lot of 
something's left. We haven't really been away all that long. But I think for next episode, this will all be grown up. That looks really cool right now with the pig pen under there. Huge difference. Huge difference. Huge. All right. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye.